there's a story I don't tell that often. And the real core of the book, it came from losing two dear friends in this city who were committed to justice. One of us, one of them, we created a school together. Um, I, and then I don't know if you remember Brother Javad Shaheed. Oh, I do. Brother Javad, when mm-hmm. he passed away. Mm-hmm. I mean, just dear, dear brother, dear sister um, that passed away that started a school. And for me, it was like, oh, like how can they be so committed to justice? They're so down. But why, why were they taken, right? And it was because part of a part of my own reflection as a community, we didn't give them permission to be well. We didn't give them. It was like you had to be down. You had to grind. You had to, you know, you had to show up even when you was tired, like to get the respect. Mm, you dropping some wisdom right now. You, you know what I'm saying? And so, like, part of that guilt, I, I don't know if it's guilt, but my own reflection and lesson and how I contributed to a culture that wasn't sustaining ourselves for justice was kind of the core behind the book. Like, what is it? What is it that we need to do? And it's different, y'all, because if you read and think about a lot of the ways that we talk about justice historically, um, and even engage in justice, it's all about the work. It ain't nothing about, you know, except for Howard Thurman's work, right? Except for Howard Thurman's work, um, most 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 of it is how we need to be in the world fighting for justice, and and, and which is important. But what I've learned is that that's half of the equation. And it's like, who do we have to be to do that? <laughs> right? Who do we have to become in order to fight and to demand justice in ways that are sustaining our souls, sustaining our families, our communities, and the movement? Right? And it's 